Hello, welcome to Dark Lord Reviews. Today I'm going to review a film that memorializes the heroics of some real life soldiers who showed how American they are with the film Go For Broke. Go For Broke is a 1951 war film about the legendary 442nd Regiment Combat Battalion and the 100th Infantry Battalion, who were known for being composed of Japanese Americans in World War II, as they showed their courage and determination in the European theater, in which they became the most decorated unit in the U.S. Army. The film stars Van Johnson, who's well known in war dramas like Battleground and musicals like In the Good Old Summertime. In addition, it stars the real-life soldiers of that regiment. So without further ado, let's take a look into Go For Broke. The film starts by telling us about the regiment and where the story begins. Oh, it tells you where? So they're doing my job already? Anyways, we see Lieutenant Michael Grayson, played by Van Johnson, as he arrives at the base. <laughs> Goes the army base. Look where you're going, will you? What a biatch. Anyways, he reports for duty to Colonel Charles W. Pence about his commission. The colonel tells him he is training the newly established 442nd Regiment. However, he wants none of it. Well, sir, I'd like to make a request. What is it? I'd like your permission, sir, to put in for a transfer to the 36th Division. You see, sir, I'm from Texas. What has that got to do with it? Because I'm racist, I tell you what. The 36th is an old Texas National Guard outfit, and I've been in it ever since I got in the Army. That is, until they sent me to OCS. I never would have gone if I thought... Sir, I just took it for granted that I'd go back to the 36th. And you're sure that's the only reason you have for wanting a transfer? Well, this new battalion's made up of... You know. No objection to working with the kind of troops we have here. Because they're Japs? Oh, no, sir. Nothing like that at all. Now, let's get a couple of things straight, Lieutenant. First, there's not going to be any transfer. You're staying here. Have you got that? Yes, sir. Second, they're not Japs. They're Japanese-Americans, me say. Or as they call themselves, Buddha heads. All kinds of Buddha heads, Lieutenant. From Hawaii, Alaska, California, New York, Colorado, yes, and even some from Texas. They're all American citizens and they're all volunteers, remember that. You're goddamn right. Any questions? No, sir. After that verbal beatdown, he still can't get his racism out of his mind. <laughs> Do you use live ammunition in the rifle range? The Jap's a Jap, eh? All I know is they were put under armed guard in relocation centers last year. Maybe the Army just had some surplus barbed wire they wanted to use up, was that it? The Army was facing an emergency at the start of the war, a possible invasion by Japanese troops. So all Japanese Americans were evacuated from the West Coast. There was no loyalty check, no screening, nothing. If there were any spies among them, I can assure you they're not in the 442. Every man in this outfit has been investigated, reinvestigated, and re reinvestigated. Fox News would disagree. I suggest you start getting acquainted. Your platoon sergeant's over in the supply room, O'Hara. O'Hara? That's right, Takashi O'Hara. With Lieutenant Grayson now stuck with the battalion, he inspects his troops, starting with Tommy, played by Henry Nakamura. How long have you been in the Army, soldier? Let me see now. Maybe I, I've been inside uh, two, three months. Don't you know you're supposed to hold your salute till an officer returns it? Oh, sure. Sometimes forget. Sometimes forget to say sir, too, don't you? Sometimes. Well, don't forget it anymore. No, sir. That's your own uniform? Sir, that's the smallest size he got, the supply sergeant. Yeah, Danny DeVito took the last one. Well, roll those sleeves down. I hold salute, sir. Why are you wearing leggings with a Class A uniform? To keep my pants up, sir. Long like that. 
Well, get him cut down. Oh, yes, sir. You better see somebody today before I see you again. What a biatch. Then we see the rest of the crew, like Sam, played by Elaine Nakano, Chick, played by George Miki, Frank, played by Akira Fukunaga, O'Hara, played by Henry Oyasato, and Kaz, as played by Ken K. Okamoto. And as I mentioned before, they're all real soldiers. First, they pick out the crummiest camp in the United States. Why'd you ever enlist? That's what I want to know. Why? Because a wise guy, college man like you, snowed me under with a lot of fancy talk. I was on the outside. Iowa. A free man knocking off 500 bucks on one. 500 bucks? No. 500 bucks, yeah. Chick sexing. I can look at a Dale chick and tell you if it's a he or a she. <laughs> now, who'd want to know that except another chick? You pay for the poultry feed and you'd want to know. A he ain't no good at all when it grows up. Only the she's. How come chicken farmers no can find out themselves? Too bashful? No, they feed them steroids. Funny, man. Chick sexing is a science. It was developed in Japan and it's one field where Buddha head gets a break. Mean to say you never heard of it? I just got as far as the birds and the bees. Yes, sir, a fruit peddler with an architect's degree. I could have got a job as an architect if I kept trying. Well, why didn't you? Because of Pearl Harbor. It's just my eyes. Couldn't handle all that close work. All you need is corrective glasses to take the slant out of your eyes. Ah, chick, 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 chick. Hey, Kutong, take it easy, huh? package. Yeah, hand me those cans, will you? Where are you going to send? Daughter in the army in Pacific? Uh-uh. Family in a relocation camp in Arizona. Arizona, USA. You think that child here is bad, brother. Yes, sir, all the comforts of home. And only one block from the barracks to the toilets and showers. Barracks? Treat you like that? Hard to figure why a guy volunteer for the army. We have to do something so we never get a deal like that again. We sure. We sure must put ahead good soldiers, good Americans. You're goddamn right. That's the idea. I hope it works. Sure it works. I read a lot of stuff in newspapers about the 442. Yeah, all we need now is casualty lists. Gee, that's a pretty girl. What her name? Terry. Terry. Nice name. Your wife? Not yet. Why are you wait? This is a great time to be starting a family, isn't it? Yeah, especially while locked up in a internment camp. You could talk funny, guys. Boy, if I had a girl like that, they gotta draft me. No volunteer. No, sir. Draft me and drag me away. That's what they said about World War III. Anyways, Grayson arrives to the barracks and does not like the way it looks. And I'm not talking about the soldiers. This man, no dog tags, needs haircut, window unwashed, uniforms hanging wrong way, haircut, shave, bunk out of line, dog tag, window, beer can on shelf, dirty floor, dirty boots, haircut, window, bowl of milk on floor. Bowl stolen from mess hall, brought cat into barracks, floor boots, dog tag, haircut, dust on rafters, window, haircut, dog tags, boots, bunk out of line, litter on floor, boots. They get the book, Sergeant. They're all on the list. You're a chicken expert. What do you make of him? A cocksucker. The next day, Grayson runs his platoon through the obstacle course and with strict observation. What the freak? The platoon passes and they have the graduation.
After graduation, they can't wait to go to war. I can smell that salt air already. Take another sniff, will you, and see if it's a Pacific. Yeah, that's what I'm sweating now. You and me both. Let's see what Sam and Tommy are up to. Well, I keep trying. Every time they ask for volunteers. Hey, you have to speak perfect Japanese. It's for combat intelligence, interpreters. They don't want booty head riflemen in the Pacific. Why? Look, Tommy, a million guys fighting an enemy that looks like us. What if a GI sniper spots you and me? He's a uniform. Yeah, and probably figure we're spies. I tell you something. I don't like to talk about it, but I'm going to tell you. Curl Harbor did a place to come. You can only read it. I can see it. Pretty soon, I go volunteer for the 100th Battalion. Too young. When by the 442 come up, I volunteer again. Too small. Next time, I stand on my toes a little bit. OK, I'm in. They sent us Europe. Sure, I go and fight. No better do I fight the ones who bombed the island. It's the same enemy, Tommy. Maybe for you. Pearl Harbor Day, two people visit friends near Honolulu. They've both been killed. My mother, Sam. My father. Wow, that's pretty sad. Seriously, I feel bad for him. Now we see them getting shipped out for Europe. Let's do some roll call. Nagashuk Shuki. William J. Nishigoka. Leonard S. Uchigaki Uchi. Uchigaka Uchi. Harry. Ikigani. Joseph T. Kamakura. Sam W. Toyotomi. Toyotomi. Tomatsu. Yishizaki. Satoshi. Shimabukuro Tenshugi. Shima. Shimabukuro Tenshugi. Shima George W. Thanks. Fujimoto. Thomas H. Now our boys are going to Europe, more specifically, Italy. They even have a guide about Italy. Let's see now. You and your outfit have been ordered to Italy. Much depends on how you conduct up there as a soldier and a representative of the United States. For 20 years, the Italian people... Oh well, I guess you'll read the rest. ...propagandists declared that all of our people look upon Italians with contempt. Naples, with its old world history, majestic Vesuvius, the castle of St. Elmo, the famous churches, the magnificent harbor, second to none in all the world. These and many other historic sites are of interest to the soldier. Take advantage of this opportunity. See as much as you can. No, I want to go to Naples. You'll want to poke around in quaint, out-of-the-way places, and the only way to do that is to walk. Be sure to allow plenty of time in Naples so you can take it all in at a nice, leisurely pace. Start your promenade at the harbor. Yeah, I would sleep too. Hey, I want some vino, too. Continuing our tour of picturesque Italy, we come to the Via Casalina, which leads directly to Rome. The districts around Rome are full of places of historical interest, and transportation is excellent. So excellent, you don't need a car. Take a break. Take ten. After that walk, I need at least an hour. Oh, look, they run into some old friends. Hey, what's up? Hey, you fine job. My brother, him okay? Not even a scratch. He's a few trucks back. Oh, where are you going? Same place as you, Paisan. Haven't you heard? We've been attached to the 442. One big happy family. Go oh, get it. Right on, go here, top three. Fuck it, daddy. What was that? I said, very sorry. Sorry, sir. Within easy reach of Rome are the medieval towns of Tuscany. Sleepy little villages scarcely touched by the march of civilization. Yeah, in a big way. After their 10 minute break, Lieutenant Grayson makes a new friend, played by Gianna Maria Canel. Or Canelle. Ah, buongiorno, signorina. Guarda un po', un americano che parla l'italiano, è meraviglioso. Tu parli l'italiano, sì? Non capisci. Oh, non capisci l'italiano? 
No, but I'd like to learn. Oh, que alto. The door open? Cosa dice? The door, the door. It's open, Lieutenant. Thanks, Sergeant Cop Blocker. Grazie, signorina. The lady's gonna mend this for me. Call me when the word comes down to move out. Yes, sir. The eyes of taxis are upon you all the long day. What a bus kill. Brakes over. Let's go. All right, on your feet. Uh, guys, are you forgetting something? More specifically, someone? Lieutenant Grayson, I forgot to tell him we're moving out. Holy mackerel, what'll I do? Close it up! Meanwhile, at the Hot Italian's house... Damn, I like that music. Salute. E felicità. Looks like she had a few Americans lately. How about some more vino, huh? Con piacere, darling. Then Grayson finds her Texas merch. John Smith? John Smith, huh? Is he still around here? When did you see him last? Cosa dice? Oh, cosa dice? I gotta find somebody been talking. I'll be right back. Hmm. I've heard that line before. Grayson finds them and gets chewed out by his cat. You're such a stickler on military courtesy for your men. From now on, you and I are going by the book, understand? Yes, sir. I don't mind telling you, Grayson, if there was any chance of getting a replacement for you, I'd have had you court-martialed for this. Ever since you joined the outfit, you've been the one man in this company who's been out of step. You'd better pick it up, Lieutenant, and pick it up fast. Or you're going to find yourself volunteering for every dirty detail that comes up. Yeah, you'll be cleaning every used toilet with your toothbrush. Is that clear? Yes, sir. That'll be all. Mm -hmm. Did you do a good job, Lieutenant? We cut to Sam and Tommy meeting some old friends. Vino, fresh off the vine. Good air pie, Sam. I'll call him Maluna. Mahalo. Free sample. Thanks. Oh shit, an ambush. Eddie, Eddie. You stay here, Tommy. Watch out. Come on, get close to the wall. Anybody home? Nine. They got them and their Nazi pig. Jerry intelligence officer. They're great at disguises. They report back to their colonel about the shootout. Too bad about that 100th battalion, ma'am. What did they say at the aid station about the other one who was wounded? Million dollar wounds, sir. They're sending him back to Rome. Good. Well, anytime you're in the neighborhood, drop in. Thank you, sir. I mean that. I want to keep in close touch with you, men of the line. They've been treating you all right? Yes, sir. You're sure now? No complaints? No, sir. Well, good luck to you. Now they march with their pig prisoner. And they cut to a montage of their campaign in Italy. So far, so good. The men are staying at a small farm and gossip. 
Hey, you better move, Sam. Maybe you're gonna shake. Have a good time, Frank. How can I miss Rome? The greatest architecture in the world. 24 hour passes. Big hearted, ain't they? I'm gonna see a lot of things in the next 24 hours I've dreamed about all my life. The Forum, St. Peter's, the Pantheon. Any other outfit, I bet they get three day passes. Yeah, not just one man at a time either. Yeah, tick, 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 tick. Relax. That reminds me, Tommy, I hear we're having chicken for dinner. No, Joe. Yeah, I was talking to one of the cooks. Fried chicken. Good boy. That's what I like best. Not me. You know what I like best? Barbecued pork. <laughs> yes, sir. There's nothing like barbecued pork. Especially the way I make it. <laughs> While the men are getting letters from home, Tommy gives his pig a bath. He meets a farmer with his kids and their pig. <laughs> oh, capi. Signore, signorina. L'amore, l'amore. E domandagli se gli piace il vino. You like the vino, Joe? Ah, no, you're not for sale. Three litri. Three bottles, Joe. Not for nothing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Joe. Waste time. Come on, Faisal. Joe, ti prego. Per piacere. Fame. Fame. Hungry. Hungry. Okay, plenty need on her. Pensi che lo mangiamo. No eat, no eat. Oh, no, no. Signore, signorina. Ra, 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 ra. Papa, mamma, bambino. Yeah, making bacon. Son, you can't have young for Papa, no? Did you get troppo giovane? Si, 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 aspettiamo. We wait. Tre mesi. Three months. Tre, quattro, può essere anche cinque. Arrivederci. Nove bottiglie, Joe, dieci. Nine bottle, ten. No. No, Papa. Worth a shot. Who that from, Sam? Your mother? Jerry. Hey, remember that time we took Superetto? It was on a news broadcast, coast to coast, and they mentioned a 442. Sam then reads the letter to Tommy. The old homestead. Maybe it looks the same. The barracks, the barbed wire, the MPs. But it isn't the same anymore. Nothing's the same. Because everybody knows what the 442 is doing. And what means most to me is the change in the kids in my class. She teaches in camp school. I know, I know. First grade. They were just sad little people. Never laughed, never made a sound. Today, I'm happy to say, I have as noisy a classroom as you'll find in America. More better now, eh, Kutong? Looks that way, Kanaka. Plenty better now. I miss you so very much, my darling. I can't find words to tell you how dear you are to me. Um, yeah, I hear you, Tommy. Then we cut to Grayson meeting with the Colonel. Change of orders. We're going back on the line. That's kind of rough. Somebody was telling me your folks came from Rome. A little town near there. Oh, well, I'll get to see it someday. Hey, we met up with some of your folks while you were gone. Your old outfit. The 36th? They passed us on their way back. The Texas Wonders had all they could take, so they called him a 442. Where'd they go? The word is they're being moved to another theater of operations. Is that straight? Looks like you're stuck with it for the rest of the war. Guy gets in to fight the Japs and winds up fighting with them. Well, you should have joined the Marines. It's a hot one when you come to think of it. Oh, I don't know. A lot of us had parents who were born in enemy countries. Italian Americans, German Americans. That's different, sir, and you know it. Why? Well, it's just... The shape of their eyes? Or is it the color of their skin? See all of the above. Tell the truth, sir. Wouldn't you rather be with some other outfit? If I knew of a better outfit, but I don't. Will that be all, sir? Yeah, racist ass motherfucker. I hope the supply sergeant takes good care of your pig. Yeah, I sure hope he feeds him good so he'll be nice and fat when we get back off the line. Hey, Frank! Look! Look at that! Must be an old Roman villa. Yeah, you can tell it's Roman by those columns. And enemy fire. Besides, Grayson finds the group of Nazis shooting at them. It's some kind of headquarters, all right. And it looks like they're getting ready to pull out. Yeah, with all their maps and records. And one machine gun's holding us back. Come on, let's take a walk. Hey, you over there!
pitchers dug in like an Alabama tick. Tommy gets the Nazis by firing the mortar himself. Say hello to my little friend! Grayson and the others captured the Nazis with their wiener schnitzels exposed. Ah, what a gun, I'm defeated. Such a gun just can't be beaten. What kind of troops are these? Chinese? Japanese. Didn't Hitler tell you? Japan surrendered and they're fighting on our side now. Well, Hitler's gonna make one angry phone call. The Russians are on the ice and bumper are gonna be the old arm. That's in Tano, 12 kilometers of Stadtkern. Is there Russian on there? Why must you the ganze Luft auf Empörung sofort aufhängen? Well, it beats walking. That's true. Anyways, they leave Italy for France. Tell me. <clears throat> oh, hello, Lieutenant. I told you to go easy on that leg. Bloody okay now, Lieutenant. Well, what did you leave the hospital for? I've been staying, Lieutenant, three weeks. Long time, sir. Don't you realize officially you're AWOL? I don't know whether to put you in for a silver star or have you court martial. Gotta leave hospital, sir. Big room, 442 going Pacific. We plan is that sack. Get left behind, huh? Sir, maybe we still won't fight Japan. You think so, maybe? No, Tommy. It's definitely French. <laughs> Bad cop, I catch him in a hospital. <laughs> More better now. See ya, good. <laughs> well, goodbye, Lieutenant. <laughs> hey, Tommy, why do you smell like bacon? You are about to play a personal part in pushing the Germans out of France. Just west of the Riviera district in southern France lies the port of Marseille. You will be fortunate indeed if you are stationed in this fascinating city. However, the chances are you will be located in the provinces. Rooms with private bath are still deluxe in provincial towns, and you won't always have steam heat. But there are many compensations. For instance, your breakfast will be brought to your bedroom without extra charge. Well, that's good. They travel by train. Grayson then hears a familiar tune. When did you learn that song? When? That's right, when did you learn it? Learn what? The, the song, song. The eyes of Texas are upon you. A room is awful. All the day. No, no, no. When you learn song? Ah, last week. Soldiers. 36th Division? I think so. Big T. Are they still here? No. Party. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> the colonel transfers Grayson to the 36th as a liaison over his objections. Comes when the 442nd is an attachment to the 36th. How do you like that Texas artillery, stranger? Stranger? Me and I'm from Texas myself. Well, pull up a chair and have a mint julep. That's mighty never, my friend, but we're heading back towards town. Another posse is going to spell us for a bit. Howdy, stranger. Hello. There's only one thing I don't like about these buddy heads. They don't dig them long enough. Tommy returns to the village to pick up his pig. However, the Frenchman asks him for the pig. I was hoping maybe something to eat for the children. Chocolate, crackers, anything. They have so little, so little to eat. <laughs> then Tommy makes the hardest decision of his life. Thank you very much. 
How wonderful for the children. Quelle chance nous avons mes parents. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. takes guts. After that moment, Grayson goes to a bar with a show for the troops. The bar has some racist troops from the 36. So you want to really Japanese? Hey, Shorty, she wants to know if you're Japanese. I guess we can let her in on it. They're our new secret weapon, Twilight Fighters. Twilight oh, Fighters? Yeah. The army gives them shots to make them turn yellow, see? They send them out in the evening just as the sun's going down. The enemy can't see him in that light. Get the idea? Grayson even meets an old friend of his from that unit, Sergeant Wilson I. Coley. I would be a buddy of Grayson's. Five to one, he don't come back for that drink. Get it up. They tell me you really got it made. What is this liaison racket? Oh, it varies from a soft snap to an extra soft snap. Thank you. Kamara, I'm moving out with you. How do you like that? Back with the old platoon. You mean I got to take orders from you? No, I don't mess around with you dog faces. I'll be with the artillery observer. You're getting your artillery from the 442, and he's never worked with them before. They're sending us up without our own artillery? Just the Japs? Whoa, watch it, pal. They're a good outfit, Cully. Plenty good. Practically winning the war single-handed, from what I hear. Japs. Let's get out of here, huh? Yeah, I could use a little fresh air. You're gonna get more than fresh air. You win, chick. <laughs> Japs in a Texas division. Man, oh man. Wait a minute. Collie. They're not Japs. Huh? They're Japanese Americans. Nisei. Or if you prefer, Buddhaheads. But not Japs. They don't like it, neither do I. You're goddamn right. What are you, a Jap lover or something? I said they're not Japs. I'm warning you, Cully. You're what? Warning you. Lieutenant, that gold bar looks real sweet on you. But I do believe you're getting a little big for your britches. I can always take the bar off. Anytime you say. <coughs> yeah, Grayson. America, fuck yeah. Ooh, mail time. Anything for my brother? No off from relocation center. Sugar report from Terry. Dear Sam, I hate to start out a letter this way, but I think it best to get the bad news over with first. Of course, you don't get better, huh? No, Terry's okay. Your mother didn't get sick? Your father? It's my brother. He didn't lose his job on a farm? Yeah, him and a couple of his buddies. A gang beat him to a pulp and said they'd lynch him if they ever came back. Why'd they do that? Why? Why? Because they've got slant eyes. That's a crime in some places. Didn't you know that? How do you like that? We're good enough to carry rifles, but we're not good enough to pick sugar beets. Yeah, they deserve respect, just like any other man. Take it easy, Sam. Sure, sure. Take it easy. Take it lying down. Go on, beat it. Blow off. And I've been telling you, suckers, that's what we are. Yeah, tick, 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 tick. Would you like a dental appointment? Let's go, boy. But don't break it up. If you're looking for a scrap, you won't have long to wait. We've been alerted. The men Lieutenant Grayson moved out with have been surrounded. The whole battalion? What's left of them. Grayson's okay so far. Artillery observer got hit and he took over. Just so the lieutenant is safe. Him and his buddy. His dear old platoon sergeant. What's up with Sam? He just got some bad news. He's not the only one. They're going to send the new replacements up online as soon as they arrive. The batch my kid brother's in. 18 years old. 
Meanwhile, in the forest of Narnia, Grayson and the 36 are getting shot up by the Nazis. Timber! You okay, Cully? Where's that Jap artillery? You won't get it with that attitude. Let's see what HQ is dealing with. Do you hurt to drive when they often try to give you on far? I know nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Can't get a thing out of this one, sir. And we got enough from the others. Send them over to division headquarters. Ross. The officers figure out how to save Grayson and the 36 and find a passageway to them for the 442nd. However, the crew are still upset at Grayson. This don't make sense. Sticking on next time for guys like that buddy of Grayson. That sergeant, that's a kind ganged up on your brother. We get to the lost battalion, that sergeant gonna change his mind about us, put heads. Plenty of people already we changed this, huh? Keeps up like Terrible writing letters. Somebody we gonna have it good. You bet. Yes, sir. Good thing you read me letters, so maybe I'll go get like chick. It's rough. It's plenty rough. But we know what's it all about. You bet. Well, better we go for broke, yes, Sam? That's about it, Tommy. More better we go for broke. Yeah, back then. Nowadays, not so much. In the rescue, they get shelled by the Germans. Oh, Hera, no! Phoenix! Meanwhile, in the Forest of Doom... What? It's pretty good. Piper Cup's calling the shots for artillery. They're trying to shoot us in some rations. That'll be a big help. Sukiyaki and rice. I could use another man. Let's go back at HQ. There's at least a hundred of them on this ridge. They'll be shooting right down our throats so we try to come up from either side. Our engineers have been cutting through a road on top of the ridge so we can bring up a tank. And they're about here now. Tell division headquarters I'm on my way back, will you? Give me a take you We got the car. The Jerry's have been tapping a wire, sir. Some of them speak perfect English. Wildcat 3, Wildcat 3, Sergeant Yasugamoto speaking. Wildcat 3, this is Wildcat 4. Come in, Wildcat 3. You stay a kind word. Wildcat 3, Wildcat 3, Sergeant Yasugamoto speaking. Wildcat 3, Wildcat 3, Sergeant Yasugamoto speaking. Tokaikyu to Bango Ananda. Good idea, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. It's just that good old Yankee know-how. The engineers are removing the mines. If I was a jerry on the end of this ridge and a tank got close enough to fire point blank, I'd take off like a ruptured duck. Yeah. Right over the side of the ridge. There ought to be somebody down there to meet him. That's what I was thinking. Sergeant! Where's Lieutenant O'Hara's platoon? This is it. We're your new replacements. O'Hara's the name. Another suntan Irishman. Well, I got some bad news for you, kid. Anyways, the men are walking through the forest with Grayson and Sergeant Wilson walking in the opposite direction. Then Tommy mistakes them for Nazis. However, Sergeant Wilson notices that they are Japanese. They're Japs! Well, I said Japanese, asshole. Hey, knock it off, will ya? What's the password? Dipsy Doodle, that's it. That was it, a week ago. Let's have that password! They better answer quickly before they get a face full of frags. Oh, fuck it, Toddy! Lucky guess. Make him give me the right password. 
You ever hear Jerry try to pronounce a Japanese word? He's got a point. If that's not a Buddha head, I'll... You what? Sam! Sick! Tommy! A whole battalion's lost and we gotta find them. Man, I never thought I'd be so happy to see a bunch of Jap. <laughs> Pardon me, Japanese. Now he's showing them some respect. Better late than never, I guess. Oh, that ain't it. What is it, Grayson? Butterheads. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, the Nazis are still there. Butterheads, huh? That's right. He sure is touchy about that. One time he even slugged me. Slugged you, huh? Yeah, gave him a knuckle sandwich, I tell you what. Did you hear that, Jack? Where's the rest of your outfit, Lieutenant? Back there about a mile, but it took us hours to get here, on our bellies most of the way. What do we do, Lieutenant? That's up to you, Sam. I'm strictly a liaison officer. Skirmish line up the hill. 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 Line up the hill. Tell me something, Sam. Skirmish what does Bakatari mean? <laughs> well, freely translated, you're a heel. A stupid jerk and a heel. I was putting it mildly. Would you prefer the hard version? Go for bro! The men charged through gunfire and mortar fire to get to the Nazis. Take the spoiler eye! Watch it off the face! Ah! Go for bro! The men take the remaining Nazis as prisoners and find the lost battalion and get complimented for their actions instead of the color of their skin nor the shape of their eyes. Any of you guys want a cigarette? Well, smoke them if you got them. On their return home, they are rewarded for their bravery with a parade. Battle honors, by order of the Secretary of War, in the name of the President of the United States, as public evidence of deserved honor and distinction, the 442nd Regimental Combat Team is cited for outstanding accomplishment in combat. The gallantry and esprit de corps displayed by their officers and men in bitter action against a formidable enemy exemplify the finest traditions of the armed forces of the United States. And that was Go For Broke, a good old-fashioned war film that is still enjoyable to this day. As I mentioned before, many of the Japanese-American actors were part of the 442nd Regiment, which gave the film more authenticity, as they already knew what it's like being discriminated against and fighting in a war. Van Johnson's also good as a racist Texan who grows to respect his fellow man. Also, there were brief references of the internment camps from which most of the men came from, adding another layer of authenticity since they had to prove they were just as American as the next guy. In my opinion, the film does a good job honoring the 442nd Regiment for their heroic during World War II and immortalizing them for years to come. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more reviews just like this. Stay safe out there. Goodbye. Do the old guitars playing? Back, it's out of here.